the Live with Lee and Haley Olympic Showdown. The final day is today. We have one more fun game for you all to see us compete in. What's our record right now? What are the standings? Well, there's uh, you won the first one. Mm -hmm. The second then, one is under appeal. No, I also won the second one. And then I uh, I won the third one. Along with me. Oh, were you on my team? I was on your team. Yeah. So what does that make us? Uh, uh, what is it? Would that tied, be? I think. N n no. I think that would that be three wins for me and one win for you? Uh, well, I don't know what it is, but today we're playing for pride. Today we are playing for pride. We have. I think this is about the silliest game, although yesterday's game with our friends from Nash FM, ended up a lot crazier than we thought it was going yeah, to. Yeah, that was uh, mucho loco. Yeah, mucho loco. Anyway, so we're excited about that. We also um, went out to learn about tiny houses this oh, week. Oh, yeah, that's coming up. We're going to show you, uh, give you a little tour. I would say a grand tour, but that's not really accurate. Yeah, it's, a little tour. It's I a think little it's, tour of yeah. very tiny houses, which is a trend. A lot of people like to live that way. They yeah. either completely downsize or they use it as a little getaway. Yeah, so we wanted to see how we thought it was. It's out at the Home Expo at the uh, Horse Park there yeah. at the Yaltech Arena. Yeah, it's going on this weekend. So you can actually go out and see those tiny houses. We'll give you a quick preview coming up in just a little bit. You look so fun. Festive, it's like you're a Mardi Gras girl. I am. Thanks. I know. I've only worn this shirt on here a couple times because every time I put it on, I'm like, I don't know, but I like it. So oh, I'm wearing it. I like it. it. No, I'm Thanks. Very, I know it's a little bright nice. and a little busy, but so am I. Yeah. So anyway. Congratulations on graduating clown school. Thank you. You're welcome. You've been holding on to that one all day? No, I just now thought yeah. of it. Okay. Uh, yeah. Whatever. Let's get to today's <laughs> hot topics. we got a big one to kick us off today. Oh, boy. There she is. All right. So okay. uh, here's the thing. We got three current and former UK players have been named in an exclusive report by Yahoo Sports about a federal investigation into alleged NCAA violations involving numerous college basketball programs. The documents named former UK players Bam Adebayo and Nerlens Noel and also current player Kevin Knox, alleging they either met with or received money from a sports agency. This is the same investigation that implicated a number of assistant coaches and programs, including the University of Louisville last year. UK's responding, President Eli Capilouto said, the university was made aware last night will cooperate fully with the investigation. Coach Cal saying he has no relationship with the sports agency in question and never utilized them to provide any financial benefits to current or former Kentucky student athletes. And he also said they will fully cooperate. And he's going to talk to the media here in a couple of hours. Yes, excited to hear what he has to say. But it's nice, and I found it comforting in a way that we've heard from Coach Cal and that he straight up said, I, that, you know, because that's the big question here. Did UK know? Was UK involved in some way? If a random sports agency approached these kids on their own, that's on them. Yeah. Correct? Correct. The question is, did UK yeah. play a role complicit? in this? Yes. Did they encourage them to do this? Right. And obviously, the big thing everybody's concerned about. Because that's what, about. that was what was going on with Louisville. Exactly. That's is why. Is that they, when they uh, were doing the, the wiretapping, they were listening in, and Louisville yeah. was making those arrangements. Yeah, Louisville was part of it, so. You know, if you're in, but if you're in the sports agency business, you want to try to get an advantage. You've got to get to the kids as early as you can. Because everybody else is doing it. Because if you don't, yes, yeah, somebody else is going to get to them, and they've developed a relationship, and then you're out of work. Yeah, when these kids go pro, they're going to choose the but, person you know, here's, they do, Let but. me just back it up even further. Back it on up. Let's, do, let's get philosophical for a moment. Okay, okay. Let's say I'm a headhunter, and okay. I'm looking for new talent because uh, Apple's one of my clients. So right. I'm looking for guys and gals who could do apps. And I see a couple of kids in high school that are really good at yeah. designing apps. Yeah. And now they're going to go to college. Maybe they're going to go to MIT. Yeah. And I go visit with them saying, hey, when you get done. We'd like to have you. So what can I make I that? that why can I make that happen? What, what can yeah. I do for you? You need a car? Yeah. You, you, does your mom need to help pay her electric bill? Yeah. You know who's going to complain about that? Nobody. 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 Mm -mm. And we should note that our own Alan Cutler, because I know a lot of people are worried about the fact that Kevin Knox was named in this. Our own Alan Cutler spoke to Kevin Knox's dad, and his dad said, Yeah, son, it never happened. My That's son right. never met with this That's agent, right. which is named in the report, and he said he's not worried about it. So, because if this could make you wonder, are they going to play Kevin Knox? Is he not going to play? But yeah, it's nice to hear from his dad, and nice to hear from Coach Cal saying, We didn't do this. The overarching problem with all of this is that the NCAA is trying to hang on to the word amateur. Because yeah. the real reason they want to do that, it allows them to keep all the money. I know. That's the real thing going on here, and it bothers that's the whole, me. That's all it's about. They want to hang on to all of it. So if we can label this free labor as amateurism, then we get to keep the all of it, and the kids don't get a dime. And it, it, it's a system that needs to be blown up, Yeah. in my opinion. I agree. I'm like, why is all this money rolling in? 
Because of the kids, because yeah. of the players. Because in every other facet, if, Nobody you, if, else you, would be there. if you got a kid who's in band and they got a scholarship, you know what they can do? They can go get a gig at night and play in a jazz club and get paid for it. Nobody cares. But because of so much money is going on with the NCAA, they want to keep every bit of it. And mm -hmm. it's a billion dollar industry. They're, let's quit pretending that this is some holier than thou altruistic reason. Which yeah, amateurism is not. Children. Yeah, no, student don't. athlete. Come on. <laughs> come on. Come on, man. You know. So yeah. They just want. They should be able to. Make, and I'm not saying you pay them. I'm saying just let them be able to make money on their own, like every other student in college does. Or give them a cut of these millions and millions of dollars that they are bringing in. They are the draw. These talented kids who, whatever is, means they come from, or it's not. It's a system built up on free labor, it and is? it's the only one in America, and it should not happen. There you go. There we go. That is our synopsis of this Thank problem. You. But Thank you. Thank you for coming. That's right. Thank you for being here. Drive safely. Yep. Have a great weekend. Okay. We do have some other stories. Obviously, that's the big one, and you can stay up to date on it here on LAX 18 throughout the day. Again, Coach Cal speaking this afternoon. Yeah. Those are going to be some interesting comments. This is interesting as well. This is a what was she thinking? Uh, a German ice skater competed in the women's figure skating in the Winter Olympics oh, early this morning. This. Oh, you're going to die. Oh, my goodness. Her music selection is raising eyebrows on social media. Don't forget, she's German. She uh -huh. skated to the score from Schindler's List. Uh, That's from the 1993 uh, film depicting German occupied. Now, yeah, I mean, is she Jewish? If she's Poland Jewish, during World War II. Maybe she could get away with it, but I don't think she's, she's German. Well, okay, so she's not Jewish. No, heritage. this is so uncomfortable oh. to even read to you. Twitter oh. users were like, uh, excuse me, a lot of people Why? chiming in on this. That's some of what you're seeing here. What? Why? Oh. Not only the fact that she's German is horrible. Why would anyone skate to the score from Schindler's yeah. List? Yeah, you know, that, I don't know. That's my why big not question. Do whatever, like this, why not do what the guys are doing? Cold play. That's the only choice you got if men's figure skating <laughs> yeah. is cold play. Just a note to Chris Martin. If guy, if all the guys are skating to cold play, maybe you should pump up the music a little bit. Yeah, a little bit. Every song you got's being used out there, Chris. Uh, I like it. It's well, can I, a Canadian hockey player immediately yanks off her silver. Silver. Say, why can't I say that? Silver. Silver? What? Are you all right? I don't know. I'm, I think a I'm a, a mini stroke right there. Uh, anyway, this was right after they lost to the U.S. This is the first time the Canadian Look at women this. As soon as they put it haven't on her, won the gold off. medal in 20 years. The player's reaction has gone viral. She has apologized for her emotional behavior. Get this nasty thing off of me. Yeah. No, thank you. Yeah, in a statement, she said that her emotions got the better of her. She was sad about the outcome of the game. She took it off. And then mm. there's more video after this where she's holding it down by her side because, mm. you know, they play your national anthem and you stand there with your medal. And she only took it off and then just held it in her hand the whole time. Well, it's second place. It is second place. But, I mean, I, I, yeah, I mean, it, that is a tough loss. It's tough to lose any time in a gold medal match, but especially when Canada has been winning the gold for 20 years. I get it. I'm sorry. But come on. You still you won let silver. Your, you That's let your good. country down twice. Oh. You lost, and then you act like a weirdo. <laughs> act like a weirdo. Sore loser is what we call that. Okay? Go Team USA who won the gold. Yeah. Uh, uh, it's good uh. to be a winner. Yes. We're winners. Yes, it is. But <laughs> act right when you lose. Okay? Well, New York University has issued an apology to students. You're going to die here. No, oh, no. They served watermelon-flavored water and Kool-Aid at a Black History Month event. What? Two foods associated with racial stereotypes. Oh, the university's boy. president has issued a statement apologizing for the insensitive incident. The dining hall is managed by contractor Aramark. Aramark officials say employees acted on their own planning mm. the meal. Mm -hmm. They have since been fired. And for your entertainment, we're going to have a German girl come out and skate to Schindler's List. That's right. <laughs> you know what? What is wrong with these people? I know. Schindler's List? And who could identify the score from Schindler's List? Do they have to put in? I could. I mean, I guess they say I, she's no, skating listen, to so-and-so. John and so. Williams wrote it. It's iconic. Oh, I wow. could I could identify it. But that, yeah, I'm a weirdo. And, but I want to hear the announcer going, and she's skating too. Oh, Ooh. gosh. It says here hmm. Schindler's List. Not a good look. Not a good look. No. For the Germans. No. Uh, avocados aren't just to eat. You can use them as makeshift ring box. Growing trend of people on social media surprising their loved ones with rings inside avocados. There's a hashtag. Oh, look at that. It's called hashtag avocado proposal. I was telling you guys on the morning show, I made the mistake of doing it with a watermelon. It oh, took, it, no. took us forever to find it. <laughs> anyway. I don't know what I think about this. This is kind of interesting, and if it catches on. But, hey, avocados go bad so quickly. I guess if it goes bad, you can just stick a ring in it. I, I mean, is that something that ladies like? Will they want to do that? I you like avocados, to, but on toast. But, uh, you want to be surprised that way?
Okay, yes. anyway, those are today's hot topics. Okay, everybody, it is what you've been waiting for. It is the final day.